ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you everybody for the support for our, you know, all my uh, rugby content and anything else other than that. I mean, all my rugby videos are doing amazing. I mean, almost every single one of them is over 30,000 views. Um, so that is something that you guys are interested in. And I'm glad to see that uh, you guys are welcoming something that's even new to me. So much love and appreciation uh, for that. Now, our last game ended um, this weekend that just passed and pretty much we are done for now and uh, got some exciting news for you guys um, in about two days two days exact I have a USA's rugby combine um, for those who don't know our team is a developmental team for the international team um, so we are a bunch of ex NFL NBA uh, players um, some type of high-level sport wrestlers and you know they're trying to convert us into rugby players um, we, we did pretty good our first you know season we think we lost like three games um, playing like the second strings of like the, the American uh, higher-end squad uh, for like some MLR teams as well and um, we played the second strings of the Guild Tennis which is the number one MLR team uh, right now in America and um, we, we could have won. We could have won. Especially if we had like all, like everybody. Oh man, we could have won. We lost by two points. Um, but it was a really good game, you guys. You guys would have enjoyed it for sure. Um, I, sadly, I didn't get to play uh, due to, you know, the surgery that I just had. So, Coach, they they wouldn't allow me to just to come back and just play the last game, even though I was fine and running and everything felt good. But that being said, Right now, for these next two days, I am preparing myself for this uh, combine. Now, you know, uh, I've been kind of a master of athletic testing. Um, it's just the going following through that's been the issue. So um, I'm pretty excited just to get in front of the USA international team coaches and just, you know, just kind of showing them. Um, you know, my performance and um, you know, 40, doing a 40 yard dash, vertical jump, broad jump, uh, stuff like that. I think nothing with the bench. Um, you know, so a lot, a lot of people say that's unnecessary anyways. Um, but doing a lot of that and uh, I'm, I don't know, y'all, I'm just, I'm just, I'm fucking excited, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button if you're excited like me, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, like, bro, like you get to play for America, like you get to play for America's team. You get to play for America's rugby team to 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 be on stage representing your country. I think is one of like the highest honors you can have, you know what I'm saying? To be performing for your country is is a super high honor and I would I would love to, you know, be a part of that. And I'm not trying to talk in a a cocky kind of kind of way. I'm just trying to stay confident for myself so I can perform at the highest level that I can. I understand the curve that I have for rugby and understand there are a lot of people with a lot bigger, um, uh, you know, who have been playing since kids, since a kid, even Americans, American guys, you know, since, you know, little, and I'm just not picking up on a sport. I'm not saying that, oh, you know, I'm definitely going to make, I'm just saying that I'm going to give my best foot out there when I'm put in front of the coaches, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as speed and strength, we already know that's there. It's just about game knowledge, which I know I lack in. And for that, I plan on joining the sevens. So we have a sevens team that we're gonna be having in the summer that I will be training with. So more rugby videos for you guys to come. So I'm pretty much playing rugby all season long. Me and Babe, we do want to take a trip or somewhere, you know, out somewhere for like two weeks or whatever and, uh, you know, leave America. But I'm going to, I'm, I'm really going to put my, my head down and grind and train as much as possible um, to be, you know, I, I want to show a, like a, a lot of people wrong because I went through some Reddits, um, seen some things, a lot of people saying how, you know, you know, lack of game knowledge and me trying to play is a waste of time. I'm too old to be playing now. And, you know, like, uh, I want to prove a lot of people wrong. Because the thing about it is, is people say I'm old. You know, I'm 28. Um, I've been training on my own for a long time. No sports, no contacts. Um, getting strong as hell. And, 
you know, staying injury free pretty much. I mean, besides the little knee thing I have. But the fact of the matter is, is that's fixed. And now I'm getting stronger and stronger. And I don't have to think about injury stuff anymore. Even when I was go training for the NFL years ago, I still had a little knee problem in the same knee. So maybe it was a calling for me to not do that until I got the knee fixed. And now it's fully fixed. I'm just all out there just letting loose period i feel so much better uh for more than i've felt for years um on the field running cutting um just now now that i have my my knee surgery and fixed and stuff so um, i'm super excited bro like sevens which is another it's seven minutes sevens so i play 15s right now sevens is literally seven people um each team so it's a full field of 14 seven minute half so a whole game is 14 minutes and it's 14 minutes for a reason because with seven people you're hauling ass you're pretty much sprinting for seven minutes straight so my goal this summer is to excuse me run a mile a day as fast as i can and by the end of summer i want to be in the sub five uh, mile runs i want to be like in the fours four something uh for the mile run and that's going to be the level I expect myself for conditioning coming into the new season of rugby for 15th at least. At least for 15th because in 15th, that's when shit gets like super real. We're going to be in South Africa and Wales um, playing against, you know, guys over there because I, I feel like, you know, people people are like, you guys aren't ready for that. It's not the fact that we're not ready. It's, it's we need to play at those kind of levels, you just like a lot of people have been commenting. We, you, you have to. We have to play against guys that are way better than us in order to understand the difference in competitive levels that will help us grow. People think that you know, it. A lot of people just really grow just being thrown in the shark pit. You know what I'm saying? And learning and talking to the guys after the game, saying, "Hey, you should have did this instead of that." Just like grasping as much as possible being a sponge and I think that's where our, our team will really excel when it comes to being you know the best we can when playing rugby um but dude I'm, I'm super excited you know uh, there there's even one I think what Carla Niles which is the fastest I mean he's considered the fastest um player in rugby and uh I think he made the USA national team within his first year of rugby actually but when you're the fastest guy it's like you know come on what you know what, what can you do um you know I'm, I'm a balanced guy i'm fast but uh you know my my strength is mainly just like power and strong um i would probably consider myself the strongest guy you know but at the end of the day strength does so little for you it's that speed speed kills always so uh, definitely working on my speed a lot this summer speed and endurance will be my major key factors for being the best I can for rugby uh, for sevens and for um, 15s um, international um, the later this year um, but I just kind of want to give you guys an update of what's going on I appreciate you guys just really just respecting uh, what I'm doing uh, I know a lot of you want to see me in the NFL and stuff maybe the opportunity may come whatever but right now it's in the back of my head and uh, you know rugby is here for me right now this is the sport that took me in and gave me the opportunity so this is the sport I'm giving my all to right now so uh, much love and appreciation hit that like button also something you know off the books but um, I have been doing a deal with Green Chef so if you guys hit the link in the description you guys can hit up Green Chef and get $90 off uh, your first four meals so that would end up being like $90 I think and you get like like five meals for the week something like that that uh that feed two or, or actually feed like four people so uh definitely hit that up uh please you know what i'm saying click that link in the description get those 90 dollars off use code 90 to run i believe and uh i will catch you guys on the next video much love and positivity peace out